This morning in East Bay High School's uh, sports program getting thousands of dollars thanks to a Super Bowl champion. Before playing in the NFL, Robert Turbin was a star football player at Fremont's Irvington High School. Turbin, with the help of a beloved former 49ers running back, was able to give back. I got inspired to do this thing last year. Coach Jerry, he called me up. Uh, we had just played the Carolina Panthers on a Thursday night on Thanksgiving. He called me early in the week, though. He said, hey, you know, Friday night we're doing this alumni versus student basketball game. Do you want to play? Uh, you know me. I'm like, shit, yeah, I, you know. <laughs> and they asked me twice. I just got to see, make sure that, you know, Coach Garrett's going to give us the weekend off and I'll come back and play. So I came. We had the weekend off, I came out and played, and I don't even think, like, I mean, I had a pair of sweats, and I just cut them real quick. I had, like, vans on, you know. I was beat up from the game yesterday, so I was kind of limping around a little bit. All right, we lost the game. All right, we lost the game, whatever. It was all funny games and all that kind of shit, but I was still pissed off that we lost because, you know, I just don't like losing. Anyway, we were down 20 at the end of the third quarter. We ended up coming back, but we lost by nine, so I was a little bit pissed off that we still lost. But I, I left the game inspired because it was a good turnout, okay? Fans loved the fact that we were playing and competing. It was a good game for a while. And um, I really felt in my heart that, you know, we can come back and do this next year and really make it an event. Raise money for the athletic program at Irvington. Raise money for the foundation that I have, uh, which benefits people with cerebral palsy. And MS, I had two sisters with those diseases. For, you know, guys who know me know that, or whatever. So uh, a lot of my inspiration comes from that as well. So I wanted to come back. There was some trash talking going on between the Barzee guys and us, and we'll kick your ass again next year. And I said, we'll see about that, you know. I don't like being challenged. I take that shit kind of serious. So some of these guys, like Kiko, and, you know, we played football together. They kind of laughed when I first introduced the subject of doing this event. Partially because it was, you know, they're making fun of me a little bit. You know, I was on the feed. Who knows J.D. Whitfield? He says, I'm so overly competitive, it's disgusting. So, I, you know, I threw him the bird. But anyway, you know, they laugh because they know how competitive I am. But I know how competitive they are, too, and everybody that's in here in this room. The thing for me is that I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here without the coaches that coach me here. I wouldn't be here without the players that I play with, you know, my teammates and stuff like that. I mean, uh, the times where, um, you know, I needed them, they were there. You know, people were there for me. And uh, that part is, is much appreciated. You never forget. And it, it's inspiring because, you know, you, you, you use those negative moments in your life and people are helping you and all you want to do is thank them in a way. And, we can say thank you, and I know saying thank you goes a long way, but you, you want to do something for them one day, the same that they did for you when you couldn't. And um, it's always been my motivation. So the agenda today is we're going to get out there, we're going to do the dynamic stretch. Please stretch. Some of you guys have a stretch that you probably hear. So <laughs> please stretch. Dynamic stretch. Robert will show you how to do it. And then we're going to get on the shooting machine, and then we're going to run some uh, quick passing drills. We're going to run a shell. And three man, we can get the. the, the Body warmed up, and we're gonna go right to defense. Right. B skips. You know I do B skips. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good event. All right, not bad for the first day. Obviously, we all gotta get in shape, my, my, myself included. 
Just like I told you guys from the beginning, whenever you have some free time, if you feel like it, before work, after work, man, go to the gym, get some shots up, man, you know, just, just, just keep yourself active. You know, the more active we are, the better we'll be every single Sunday. And let's get better from today, you know what I'm saying? The more we come out and focus on getting better and playing as a team, obviously the better we'll play once game day comes, all right? Look, I don't do anything half speed, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing the, the event because I care. Irvington means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? The last thing I'm gonna do is come out and put together a team and get blown out by 20, okay? That, that, you know, that's a waste of my time. That's a waste of everybody's time. You know what I'm saying? If we lose, whatever. But we're at least gonna come out here, okay, be organized and compete. You know what I'm saying? Compete. And I know that's gonna happen because we're all competitors. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, we're all on this team. Because I know the heart of everybody in here. Seeing everybody play, play with some of you guys. You know what I'm saying? So I know, I know the heart of you guys in here. So every week, every week, let's just focus on getting better. And by the time we play the game, I guarantee you guys will be in great shape. We'll all be in better shape, ready to go, and ready to go in to win a football game. The, the stands are going to be filled. Trust me. Okay, that's trust me. My market, or whatever. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I say football? Say football. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Look, 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 the stands are going to take care of itself, man, trust. You know, Rob is a, is a, is a very, very, very competitive person. So, um, you know, it was all last minute. It was put together, like I would say, within 30 minutes. The dude had on um, dress shoes. He couldn't even, you know, he was trying to play basketball in dress shoes. Um, but to see now, I think that he, under, he understood that the preparation that it would take to, to do something like this. And, you know, he saw the, he knew that it would be, you know, be, it would be beneficial to continue with what we're doing as far as the, the you know, we, we, we saw the opportunity to make it a bigger thing and the opportunity to be able to, to, to give back in the, in the right manner. I'm really looking forward to, to the 24th, okay? I'm really excited. I was really excited about today. I thought it was a great job. All right, let's just keep it going. Let's bring we're it up, man. at least half hour before, so you guys come here, you're not rushing, we're ready to go. 7 o'clock, we're on baseline, ready to roll. Bring it up. Go. Great job today, okay? Alumni on three. One, two, three. Alumni! Alumni. I know you guys are ones, right? Twos? 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 We get on the floor, we're gonna break it down that, and then we're gonna split. After we walk it, we're gonna split it, we're gonna go. I would like this to go like 35 minutes, 35 second rotation every every play. Just to get an idea, we might have to go 35 seconds on, on each defensive set. So, what defense did, does anybody have a question on that we ran the last two practices? It was, it was three, three, three and what? Three, two, two right? Yeah. And two, three? Yeah. We're going to add another one. We're going to add a boxing one. John and Robert and uh, some of the girls over here, females, are going to have to guard Kosha or Sahil. So when one of them is in the game, we're going to run box against them. We don't want them to get three-point shots off. Those are the two guards that will kill us all day long. Everybody else, we can manage. 
So, man, I'm still kind of leery about running that right now. I know we got athletes that can't run it, but they'll pick us to death and they'll get backdoor, backdoor cuts on us all day and then we calling timeouts and we're gonna get heated and we don't want to get heated too much. We want to win the game. Me and Rob, well, Rob is, uh, approaches to me and said, hey coach, let's do this. And I was like, I'm all in, let's do it. So he handpicked the roster and everybody is, is important to him that's playing in this game. And, and I'm blessed to be part of this. Box one. Okay, so this is actually easier. So let's say our three. So basically probably gonna be our one guarding the, their best player, right? One's usually our best player on, on, on all defense. So their one's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take away their best player. So we're gonna have the four, the five, the three, and the two. It's a box, okay. So, whoever, wherever that ball goes, we gotta rotate out. And when we rebound, it's gotta be a triangle. So we gotta be two in the bottom, one in the middle of the court. So we box them out and go. And whoever's shooting the ball, we gotta contest the shot, close out, and contest. We'll go over that. We don't want you blowing out your knees, running straight at them. We're gonna close out, crab up to them, ball up. That's all we're gonna do on the shot. During the football season, we talk at least once a week about this game. And, and when we seen them Christmas Eve, you know, first thing we said is we're going to win this game after, after they play the Raiders. So it's, uh, it's been going on all year. And I honestly didn't think it was going to be this big. But the people, the, the young men and women are out here playing, is, is, they're amazing because they want to be coached. They're not being divas. They're not being giving us headaches and not talking back. They're, it's refreshing to see young people actually listen when you're trying to coach them. Hey, give me two people down there! Shoot the ball. Oh, okay. Come get the ball. Keep going. Alec, wait, stop. Alec, hey, you gotta run down. Run down. Run with them, run with them. Go, go. There, if he's gonna if he's gonna sit back and let you pop off a couple. Okay. Make him do something. Remember, if you're up here, you got blocks. Yeah, you're gonna have to switch. So we what we can do is if you're if you're stuck, we'll send the weak side. Because if you're still high, we'll send her. Then you rotate over. Game situation, it's gonna be a... Yeah, you're on D. Yeah, you're on D, you're on D. Come. Yeah, offense gotta come down, get, who's, who's the guard? Who's coming, come get the ball? Yeah, outlet, outlet, give him the ball, and push, Garrett, go, Garrett, run up the lane. Give me, hey, who's out here, Randy? Randy. Outlet. Garrett, stay on defense. Stop, 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 stop. All right, let me explain the drill again. It's very simple. Hold up, listen up. This person comes, you have to stop the ball before it gets into the paint, and this person rotates to the pass, and then the other person sinks back. That's how you stop transition, okay? And then the person that shoots the ball, Fall off, the other two stay on defense. You've got a beeline to this, L, this block. And he's gotta stay split on the you gotta stay split. I'm gonna take this. John, you'll cover. Yep, then we can bump. Then you guys can switch back, whatever you wanna do. Rob posted on his Instagram. I seen Frank Gore posted on his Instagram. So it's, it's big, it's gonna be huge. So that's why we gotta practice to look good. Get new uniforms, get warm up tops. Let's look the part, be the part. Get all the plays, I'll resend them out. I'm also gonna add our press break. To it, it'll be it'll be a quick, it'll be easy. It will kind of tie into everything that we're doing now, which is a run. But understand, we don't we want to go fast. We want to slow down a little bit. We don't want to get in a foot race with them, but we just got to be in control. If we play a controlled game, they'll get out of sync because they're gonna want to they're gonna want to push push push. You guys did a good job. A lot of things that now we're starting to see of what you can do, what we're very good at. Okay. Let, let our the, advantage be our poise. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Let our advantage over them, the young guys be like our focus and poise, regardless of turnover or this, you know, make mistakes are gonna happen. We're gonna turn the ball over, da, 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 that's just part of the game. You turn the ball over, you're not gonna get subbed out right away. I won't, we won't do that to you. I'm not gonna embarrass you like that. No. But if it happens like five times in a row, you best believe your ass go come out the game. For sure. <laughs> Last thing, break. you guys got to understand, have fun. Yes, have yeah. fun. Let's have fun, because sometimes we're a little, <coughs> some of our egos are starting to come out a little bit. That's fun but have fun. We've got to, we are here for a good cause. We want to get out and we want to make sure that everyone's participating. We just, but overall, we've got to have fun. you got to have laughs. You know. Ah, Let's go. All right. Let's get a break. Let's get a break. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rob. Break. Alumni on three. One, two, three. Alumni. 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 Thank you.
Ready? One, two, three. One, more. One two, three. You got a competitive situation. I want everybody to go out there. If you make a mistake, just go hard 100%. That's all we ask of you. Call your own fouls. We're not going to call fouls. Me and Cheryl are going to watch what we do. In the last hour, we're going to review what we did right and what we did wrong to work on, clean it up. Okay? So our starting five rounds will be Robert, Kyoki, Garrett, John, and Yodi, right? Yojin. Yojin. And then we're going to A. So everybody else on that side, go to the blue line, and we'll sub you guys in as needed. Okay? Yes. Let's go. Let's get a break. Sit your happy ass down. Well, my bad. Huh? Who was? Yeah. Do you want Kiko then? Okay, Kiko. Kiko, you're in for Garrett. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Alumni in three. One, two, three. Alumni. Let's go. Short. Wall up. Go. Push. Keep running. Play your own Hey, make sure you watch the cutter. Watch that cutter. Hey, get there. Good. Hey, Talk on defense. Help these guys out. In the game, we're going to have to help these guys out. So talk on defense. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stop ball. Hey, what's corner? What's corner? Close out. Close out. Oh, sh. Hey, go man. Go man. Go man. Go man. Go man. Go man. Match up. Match up. Go man. Stop the clock, stop the clock. Hey, bring it in real quick. Everybody up, everybody up real quick. Sit down. People in the game, sit down. People in the game, sit down. Let's go. People in the game, sit down. John, John, take the, John's out. Hey, listen. Listen real quick. Hey, our, our, our space has got to be a little bit better on offense, all right? And on defense, on that 23, they're backdoor cutting us, and we have to box out. You guys see why we have to box out? We keep getting rebounds, but we're doing good. Keep working the ball in. Hey, pump fake, they're going to jump every time you go up because they're overly aggressive. They're taught to be aggressive. So if you use it against them, you'll be able to get to the basket and, and someone will be open for a layup, all right? All right, let's go. Eyes up. Hey, be, hey, be patient with the basketball. Hey, Eyes up. Eyes we, up. we don't got to force nothing. We're doing good. Let's go. Keep working. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what I got going on. Alumni three. One, two, three.
That's a, hey! That's a foul! That should be three shots. guarding two. So the ball gets swung across here, this person's here, and this person's here ready to steal. We gotta rotate. If he ball swings here, we come, we come out here, we rotate down, this person rotates the split. We have to be in ball line. Does everybody understand what ball line means? Mm -hmm. Also remember what your responsibilities are. You're, if, so if you're this low, low person, remember that, that there's that volleyball line that right volleyball there. Line. Yeah. You guys can't come up that past that. That's a guard responsibility. Keep Once you cross it, you gotta stay time. down. Because the more you come out, what's going to end up happening is they're going to go down inside. But if you do come out, only leave when you get replaced. Yep. Yeah. Okay? You got to get bumped But down. we have to yeah. communicate. I got you. I got it. I so got for you. Hey, for example, like, Kiko, there's times, and me too, anybody's playing at the, 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 the bottom, there's times where they're going to pass the ball across court. Skip and, pass, skip pass it. And we have to go up, like, right here above the line in order to, you know what I'm saying, go to the shooter. Once the guard, listen, once the guard rotates over, Back here, then you, drop back. then you can drop back down. We just got to cover test. So you got to rotate. But we, hey, but we're not communicating. But, but the rebounding, we're starting to, you know, you guys are starting to do better because we're actually getting three points here, like a triangle where we're rebounding. That's what we need to be. We can't be underneath the basket, but we have to box out. As soon as the shot's up, you got to find someone on the team, hit them, box them out, and then we got to get, the ball's got to come out, up a side, and we got to get weak side. But don't start stressing out because they're going 100 miles an hour. Make them play our game. We don't want to play. We don't want to get in a horse race with them. Don't worry. Okay. All right. But hey, other than that, hey, we're doing really good. We're doing really good. All that practice is paying off. Look, we got shots made. Ball movement's getting good. We're rebounding. Our spacing at times was not that good. But then we start getting it as the game went on. We start feeling more comfortable. But that's that's okay. I'm, I'm proud. To, I'm, I'm happy where we're at. But as a coach, you're never satisfied because we got to get better. This half. All right. Let's go. Here we go. go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. That's gonna help. But why are why don't you do the sponsors and uh, I like to do the volunteers, but that's gonna take time to get the volunteers, not give them a gift. It's just I don't know. I'm worried about that happening. Well, maybe JD, the smart kid that he is, uh, he can nearing the half second half and just announce it. Even in this itinerary, like it was mentioned to uh, to do something at halftime. Thank the sponsors at halftime. I just think like it's too early. Yep, that's snack bar and stuff, so I don't know if the sponsors are going to get good representation yeah. from that. So maybe just throughout the whole game, just keep saying it yeah. over and over. You yeah. know, how many sponsors do you have? I don't know. 20? This time it's brought to you by. Yeah, that's yeah, not. Yeah, so, and JD can definitely address that maybe. Well, if you get each team, each team has five timeouts yeah, plus so the quarter end, right. so that's maybe 13 you stoppages. Maybe you can for each little end. Um, Inkies, you know, or something. <laughs> you know, or some little cute little saying to go with it. Thank you to our sponsor. Inkies. So how many sponsors are there? 20 sponsors? You said 15. 15. It's just a thought. I mean, I'm not sure you can do it if you want. I'm worried that it might get to sad at the end because everyone's just getting, and then everyone might be coming at you trying to get, I don't know. You guys have done a lot more than I have. I'm just her, worried about her that. comment, I mean, her bullet basically, if we're going to go by bullet points, this, this should take roughly about two minutes each. So it's, we're looking at about... Ten more minutes. Everybody's gonna be amped up after the game. I mean, I, I, I don't think she will be too much of a rush. No, I don't think they're not. They're gonna be trying yeah, to hang around. Like a, uh, to hang around and get pictures. This is not a regular Friday night or every day. Right. This is a special yeah, this stuff, is like right? A event. So when you have we see these kids every day. They're gonna be jazzed. 
We might have to invite, invite to get him to leave when it's time to go. Right? Yeah. So I don't think so we're going to have a You guys don't think it's going to be a problem? No. no. Okay, no, then I, let's awesome. not worry about it. I'm good then. Yeah. What time do you think the game will be over, Coach, Mrs. Stone? Um, about 8.30, quarter to 9. Yeah. yeah. I think later. About 9 o'clock. Oh, with all that I stuff, say, maybe 9 o'clock. 9. 9. nine. I well, uh, uh, how many fouls? You know, how, yeah. how many timeouts? Right. How many times the ball is going to down? I'd say no. I'd, how many I'd, times an old guy? Okay. What's up, Alex? How many times were your teammates are going to go, wait a minute? To answer you. Just, All of them except for you. What's up? What's up? Just, a little, just a little uh, caveat, man. Every time there's a, a break in time, everything like I would always shoot out a sponsor's name every time. Um, hey, Wayne Stone to the line, and you know what? Hey, this 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 foul is brought to you by Inkies. You know what I'm saying? Just throw it out there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yep, yep. Right. Right, right. That's good. Yeah, that's why I want to keep it short. I want to keep it short so they can ask me questions. So so uh so I'll be there. I'll be there and uh and uh I'll uh, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. To have the ability to give back is huge. Uh, to be blessed with the opportunity to give back is huge because uh, not a lot of people do it, you know, quite frankly. And um, you know, I remember being young and and, and hoping to meet a, a pro ball player someday, or you know, dreaming about it, or or uh, you know, wanting to be involved in some football camps or basketball or whatever the case may be, and not having the opportunity to do those things. How you and doing, bro? I wanted to make a point yeah. myself at a young age, say, you know what, if I ever make it big one day, I'm gonna bring that stuff to Fremont so all those kids can experience the things that I could. A mic? I'll get him quiet. I probably don't need a mic. Does it work? Let me see. You can leave it up here. Just so you don't get it. I'll give you five seconds. Quiet. Chill. You guys actually like this guy right here? I know lunch is almost over, right? So I won't take too much of your time. I want you guys to be able to ask questions. Shane and I, when did we first meet? Junior high? Was it junior? Where, you went to Horner, right? Freshman year. Well, my freshman year, probably. Freshman year. He was a freshman. All right, I was in eighth grade, probably coming up here playing basketball or something like that. I remember Friday nights before our football games, playing in varsity, Shane and I, we, you know, I'd ride with him a lot or you know, jump in my car, we'd ride together to the games, you know, kind of get ready to play. We won most times, as usual. He wanted me to come speak to you guys about just achieving some of the dreams that you guys may have for yourself and not limiting yourself to, you know, shortcomings. There's a lot of things in the world that, that, that you can do. A lot of us have goals. I, I'm pretty sure most of us in this room, we have goals and things that we want to do in our life. Maybe you want to be a doctor when you grow up. I don't know. Who do you want to be when you grow up? Basketball you want to hoop? Yeah. Are you any good? Who's your friend? Your friend? Your friends? Is it good? Yeah? Huh? You want to play in the NBA someday? That's what you're telling me. Do you, do you truly believe you can do that, though? Maybe. Huh? The answer should be yes. Right? Your confidence and your belief in yourself has to always be at an all-time high because, to be honest with you, nobody else is going to believe in you anyway more than yourself. When I was in high school, I had people tell me that playing 
in the NFL, I'm, being, I'm hot in this, in this coat. <laughs> it's hot in here. I'm with you. Thank you. Playing in the NFL and being a pro ball player was uh, impossible. They use the word impossible for me. Where they say, like, only special people can do those kind of things. They can achieve those kind of goals. Uh, but you, 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 you go to Irvington. You go to Irvington. It's, it, it's, a, it's a small school. Like, nobody's ever gotten a scholarship to go play football from Irvington before. What makes you think you can do it? Those are the things people would tell me and ask me when I was young. Like, all these other people kind of doubted and kind of washed away the goals and dreams that I had set out for myself. Well, Rob, you should be more realistic about what you want to do with your life. You know, those are other things that people tell me. At the end of the day, I believed in myself. And it wasn't about whether it was too hard or, or only this percentage of, of, of all athletes go pro. The numbers, the numbers didn't matter to me. It was just about simply doing what I wanted to do with my life and not limiting myself to just Fremont. There's a whole world out there that you all can experience someday. And you all have an opportunity to set yourself up to experience and explore all of those options and all of the different, different parts of the world in whichever avenue you choose to go. And I want to encourage you guys to always believe yourself and never, never dream too small. Always dream big and take it as far as you can go because you can truly get there, regardless of your circumstances. Well, you too, you guys, you know, all sitting, you know, sitting all close together and stuff like that, huh? Yeah? What do you guys do here? What, 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 are, you, what are you passionate about? You passionate about anything? You like English? Yeah. What does that mean? You want to be like an English teacher or something like that? I'm not like All right. Well, what about English do you like? Writing about stuff. I like to explain. But like not teach. Okay. All right. So do you have aspirations of maybe being a writer someday? Yeah. What kind of writer? Books, movies, music. Yeah? yeah? Can she sing? Anybody know? Yeah, she can. She can. Oh, of course, her best friend is going to stick up for her, huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, right now? Yeah. All right. I said I wouldn't take too much time, and I got started, and then I was, t I was talking too much. All right, let's open it up. What questions do you have? How much do you have to work, he says, to get into the NFL? A lot. Every day, I am trying to do something that's going to make me a better football player, even when I was your age. Oh, good question. My favorite football player of all time, two guys, Barry Sanders and Deion Sanders. If you don't know who they are, look them up. All right? I can't sign an autograph. No, no, no. All right. All right, bro. P, high five. Actually, I can't. I got a roll. What's up, P? You remember me? This is Hardigan's sister. How you doing? Yeah, she says she'll see you tomorrow night. Okay, good. Take I care. think she's going to be working, too, yeah, she's huh? Working. She's With Liz? Started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. See ya. Okay, let me get a, let me say what's up to say goodbye to Shane real quick. Hey, get Shane for me, P. Make sure I say goodbye to Shane real quick. Thank you, uh, Von Beasy. They gave you these for free. Hey, hit me up, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Good day. It's that was funny good. how they, as soon as you start talking without the mic, it's yeah. like you got them wrapped. Yeah. We don't have that kind of control, man. Hey, Anytime. man, I don't need no mic. You know that. I know. Huh? I, know. I, gotta, I, like to feel, I like to feel who I'm talking to. Dude. You're doing well, man. All Keep right, bro. Up. Appreciate you, Keep man. Keep having an impact. You having a... Huge impact just by showing your face here, man. These students kids. are now yeah. on their way back from the lunch time activity. Means the Please Especially trying to get back to Fremont, bro. You already know what it is. Anytime. Huh? Anytime, man. All right, well, maybe we'll do this again next year. Yeah? I would love it. All right. I would love it if you came in and 
when I'm doing football, hop in, man. I don't care. Throw, show them some stuff. Hell yeah. They don't know what real work is yet. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. We got them doing, finally, we got them doing like fitness circuits and stuff. We're trying to teach them all this stuff. Right. They're not seeing what I'm trying to do is get them to see you got, you have role models around you that have, have made it through this stuff already. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you've got a perfect example and he's right here in front of you. Yeah, I hear you. So latch on, hold on to it while you can, take what he's giving you, and then go out and start applying. Absolutely. So, all right, bro. All right, boss. Good, Good to see you, man. Thanks for yep. doing that. Yes, sir. All right, guys. It's been a, 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 a you know, a give and take. In other words, uh, uh, Irvington has been really gracious to this young man. I mean, they have given him uh, keys to play in the gym, in the gym, and and how to and, and key, uh, keys to uh, in the weight room and and been helping him all the way uh, from uh, college all the way through uh, the NFL. And uh, it's been, and he's been here for, uh, the, for, the, for the school here, Irvington, you know, doing things with them and, and open up himself to them uh, for whatever they need, you know, I mean, he's, he's here for that. So it's been a, it's been a uh, give and take uh, atmosphere and, and I'm loving it. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, Fremont uh, as a whole to open up uh, and, and I'm sure other uh, students are watching and seeing and, and can see exactly uh, how uh, a school like this or a city like this will open up to them you know, if, if, as, as they go forward. Hey, so... Uh, what? Garrett, come on, man. Tired. We missing anybody? Okay, so uh, yeah, hey, Jay, what? how do we? Uh, how do, How many we got? One, two, three, four, Who we missing? How many we missing? Five. Five. Yeah. Five. Yeah, so we got ten. We got ten players. Okay. Oh yeah, we're missing the the Calawais. Twins and Kurt. Okay. Okay. All right. How do we used to do this? I was trying to remember if we would like pass it to anybody or if we just win. That's how we did it? Yeah. And then you could pass, right? At the end, if you want to come back, you can, but. For real? They're just winning a circle. Okay. So you can right. start. You want me to start? Yeah. All right, so um, just for those of you who don't know, John and Charlene, Krista, we would do this uh, pasta night every Thursday night before a football game on Friday. And uh, we'd have a football, obviously. So we'd pass it in the circle, okay? Give everyone an opportunity to talk, all right? You didn't have to, it wasn't mandatory. You could say pass and pass it, you know. Basically, we'd talk about what? Just, what we, yeah, what we were gonna do tomorrow night to help us win, you know, the football game. like. As an individual, what were you going to do, your individual part, to help us win the game tomorrow? Okay, so uh, for us as a team, coming together as a team for the first time, I think these are doing things like this is, is, is part of how you build uh, chemistry, camaraderie, relationships, friendships amongst one another. When you have that, you play better. You play more as a team. And when you do that, you win. Okay, so... Um, if you guys haven't figured that out yet, I like to win. <laughs> okay. No, we never. Sorry, like I didn't figure that out. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, right, and winning is never an individual thing, you know. So, it's always about the team. All right, in order to win, all right, the team has to be together. So this is why I wanted to do it. For me, uh, tomorrow, what I want to do to help this team win is to do my best to be a leader for you guys out there, all right, in such a way where that uh, I'm always composed, uh, my poise is always strong regardless of how the game is going. Uh, I'm the same guy from the first minute to the last minute, where, whether we're up by 20 or down. I want to ex exemplify uh, a strong, competitive nature, maybe one you've never seen before. 
or maybe one you can relate to. Um, I want to be able to um, lead in such a way where, as a team, you know that uh, you know you can depend on me to, to to make the right play, to make the right pass, or to make the open shot. All right, and do the right thing on on defense. Okay, rotate or block a shot, or whatever the case may be. Okay, my goal tomorrow is just to do whatever needs to be done on my part to win the to win the game, to win the basketball game. I almost said football just a second ago. <laughs> All right to win the basketball game, all right? Um, I'm very passionate about sports in general, you know? Basketball, it kind of eats at me. I mean, I've been playing football, you know, for forever. You know, I've been a pro for five, for five years, you know what I'm saying? But basketball, it never, it never left, you know, the, the love of the game, to want to be able to, like, you know, play a real competitive basketball game, I think about it all the time, to the point where it's like, look, I've told people, multiple people, I think I've even told Coach Jerry, that uh, my goal is to one day retire from football at age 32, whatever the case may be, and play two years of basketball, if I can. If my body enabled me to be able to do that shit, trust me, all right, I would play for any NBA team. That's how much I love the game of basketball. <laughs> Just for two years, just so I can get, you know, whatever is in me, I can get it out, all right? This game, it means a lot to me because this is my way of, I don't think I'll play sports again when I'm done with football, you know? So this is a way to kind of feel that kick for me. It's almost like a drug, all right? To be able to play one championship basketball game a year. You know, my wife didn't go to our school, and even though I told her I was really good in high school at sports, she still doesn't believe me, even though I showed her the highlight tape plenty of times. JT still showing people that shit. You know? <laughs> we watched that shit like ten times in yeah. one day. <laughs> What's the song? Oh my god. Yeah, Foo Fighters, yeah, bro. And Nickelback. Oh, that shit is funny. <laughs> So, no, uh, I'm just, I just want to have a good time. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited because, you know, this is the first alumni game that I played on. This is probably like my fourth. And to me, I feel like this is the most special one because, you know, it's the money's going back to the school, to Rob's uh, foundation. And, you know, that's, that's always a good thing. And that seeing guys that, you know, that are older than I am, that I went to school with, you know, I look up to you guys and just playing with you, it's, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me, so... Um, uh, that being said, the game tomorrow, I'll do the best that I can to try to lead you guys you know, uh, through the plays as a point guard should, and uh, we'll just go from there. And this is my first alumni, and I got you know I got the call from Jerry as well. And the only reason being is this this man came through one of my training sessions um, because I, I've seen him on the campus, I've seen him talk to kids, and it was always very inspiring that when you watch players come back and, and give back to what they know. And there, his, you know, his thing, and I was always inspired. Going, he wants to bring back because this is what he knew. He, some of the opportunities weren't there. Now he wants to provide those opportunities. That's what gets me. It was one of those reasons why when Jerry said, you, you know, you want to be a coach, and I'm like, I got this on my plate, this on my plate. You know what? No, this is where I need to be. This is what I need to do. Um, and knowing that, just getting to all, getting to know all of you guys, and just kind of, I mean, I've known Randy, Charlene played for me, um, and, and I know Anthony, and I've know, I've watched. John and I know John, and it's the funny part, and you think about it, you're going, you guys were stepping in as being an outsider. It was, you almost kind of have to look going, can I crack this family? Can you can you crack it? And when you played against the Moreau boys and some of those guys, there was those, those glimpses that this was all about family. It wasn't about the basketball game. It wasn't about the win or the loss. Is that, you know what, that's, that's my family. That's, that my family's over there. Nope, not gonna let you run on my family. Not let you run on my family. That's what what I instill in my my basketball players is that's what it's all about. Okay. Hey, uh, there's a there's a card over there to, for Chris Guard. You guys want to sign it? It'll be right here on this table. It'll be right just put it right here on this table. Just right here on this table. Yeah. All right. Alumni on three. Uh,
Let's go win on three. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. win. Boy, I'm telling you, boy. First of all, they got they got a, they got like a six seven six eight dude on their team that was talking shit at our practice Wednesday. <laughs> I'm saving my dunk on the fourth corner. It's gonna be on him. Yeah, I can dunk, fool. That's it. Yep. I let I told Coach that we was gonna uh, cause when he told me. Trying to tell you, dog, it's real. It, it it you know what it is though for me. It's it's like it's like a. Uh, it's like a fix, bro. It's like, you know how a person like on drugs gotta like get they fix? Basketball is like, it's a drug, bro. Like I have to, you know what I'm saying? Like I miss playing competitive basketball more than anything in the world, bro. So this is, it, this gives me like my fix for it, bro. Like a real game, trophy, MVP, crowd, music, DJ, channel four. Uh, news station, camera crew, all the shit. Facebook Live, online, you can watch it online live. All of it, bro. All of it. Turbo, what up? My man Nate's got us, bro. Thank you so much. And now we have a surprise for you guys. We have a guest today, so let's welcome them. <laughs> hey, Irvington High School, what up? Make some noise! Yo, my name is JD. I graduated Irvington High School class of 2006. I'm going to be your MC for the Big Time Charity Basketball game tonight. Robert you okay. Now, I, I do radio in Boston, but let me tell you, there is nothing better than to be home in the Bay Area. It's going to be an incredible cause. Are y'all going to come out tonight or what? You gotta go to the floor eventually. You wanna go to the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steve gonna walk out there with us. Steve gonna you walk out there with us.
starting lineup, but don't play. I know how you be cracking jokes and shit, bro. Turbo now. That's what you know what I'm saying? Damn. The foundation. So it, it's, it's important to me uh, to come back and give back uh, to what my foundation. And is. you came back with a special guest. Let's talk about your special guest. Absolutely. Here. Absolutely. Let's talk about him. So Frank, before you went to the Colts, or did you guys, because you're here and he plays for the Niners, you guys met in the offseason? We met, uh, we met when I signed with the Colts and I was there at OTA is the first time we met. Yep. We, we play, competed against each other, said what's up, I think, a couple times after a couple games, but nothing further than that. You didn't try to spike his drink, kick his job? Or anything like that. <laughs> no, you never had <laughs> nah, man. No. I can't do what I do without Frank, man. Why would I try to do that? Uh, me knowing he played with another great back, man. You know, when, I, when, I, when, he, when he signed with the coach, you know, my main goal was, you know, um, when it, when I, whenever you know, I'm done and whenever he continue with his, with, with his, his career, you know, my main goal for him would be like, man, Frank Gore taught me some good, great things to, to be able to play in this league. And, you know, uh, me, and me and Rob, we, we, we came close. We, you know, uh, I want to see him do, um, do great things in this league. He got a lot, a lot of ability to, to be a, a, a star in his back, I mean, a star in this league. And, um, you know, when I'm done, I got to tell him I'm going to come back and be on the sideline. I'm going to boy, I taught you. You know, I told him I taught you. <laughs> Nah, when he told me um, he was having something, I told him, hey, let me know when and I'm coming. You know, um, I, like I say, Rob, he's a great dude, man, and I respect him. And, and like I said, I love the bear. Is the OU one now? You got to go to his high school? Uh, whatever, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you, guys. Let me take a two shot. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to go over there. All right. Mikey, all good? Chad, what's up, man? Going to win. Uh, I have an underdog mentality. Nobody thinks we're going to be able to win the game tomorrow. That drives me. It's been driving me since we lost last year in this game, and we weren't even doing anything to get ready.
in Remington, all your people that got the reason we made it so funny tonight for a great cause. Go to Seattle Seahawks, get to the Indianapolis Colts, Everton the Ball, River, That's why they ran that Debo shit. And they're running, trying to run at Chino Hills, three bigs, and get the ball up the sideline. I told you they were gonna do that. Cause they think they were gonna kick your ass. Stay disciplined, and we'll be all right. The shots are there, the passing's there.
everybody in the crew help me put this together. All the family and friends that give me my support. All of our sponsors. Amen. Sure. Parking managers and Riz. Love you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night. Who sit a bit outside the mix Who maybe cope through humor just to fit in for a bit Who never let the world know when depression's setting in To all of those who know you, that impression don't exist And it ain't counterfeit, it's just a way to counter it I'm living things I dreamed about, I still encounter